Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new series of tutorials for you where I am telling you how to do project management using network analysis. Well, this is my 12th video in the series. In my previous 11 videos, I have explained the project management from the very basic. I have explained some basic definitions regarding project management, how to draw a network diagram, then how to optimize the network diagram using dummy activity, then my 3 videos on critical path method or CPM and my two videos on PERT part or program evaluation and review technique. Link to all of my previous videos is given in the video description below. So today in this video I will tell you how to find out the critical path in a network diagram. Then we will talk about multiple critical paths in a network and how to find out the next most critical path in a network in the using shortcut technique. So let's start. So before we start the tutorial let me tell you some basics. The circles in a network diagram represent an event and arrows represent an activity. An activity can be represented using two ways. Number one, using their name or their alphabet, for example, activity A, or using the unique pair of starting and ending event. For example, activity A can also be represented as 1 dash 2, where 1 represents the starting event of activity A and 2 represent the ending event of activity A. Next is starting event. Starting event is that event from which every activity is exiting or emerging. So for example, from event 1, two activities are emerging and starting event is that event which do not have any incoming activities to it. So the event from which all the activities are emerging or starting is called the starting event. So here our starting event is event 1. Next is the ending event. Our ending event is event 8. So the event with all incoming activities but no outgoing activities is called the ending event. In this case at event 8 only the activity i is ending and there is no activities exiting or emerging from event 8. So that's why it's our ending event. Next the activity duration. You can see next to it activity there is a numerical value. That value represents the duration for the activity to complete. So in this question the unit is weeks. So for activity A it takes 8 weeks to complete. Similarly for activity B the value is 2. It means it takes 2 weeks to complete. Next is critical path. Critical path is a path we start from our starting event and ends at our ending event and which has the maximum total time duration value. So this was the basic. Let me start with finding the critical path. So our first path which starts from event 1 and ends at event 8 is ACFI. In other words, to reach event 8 from event 1, we can take the path ACFI. So activities ACFI must be completed to reach to our ending event. And the total cost or total time duration value for path ACFI is given by 8 for A plus 3 for C plus 6 for F plus 9 for I. So for path ACFI, the total duration is 26 weeks. Our next path is B, D, G and I. So for path B, D, G, I, the total duration is 2 for B, 8 for D, 7 for G and 9 for I. So for path B, D, G, I, the total duration is again 26. And finally, our last path is B, E, H and I. So for path B, E, H, I, the total duration is 18. So as I already mentioned, the critical path is the path which has the maximum time duration value. But in this question, we have two maximum time duration values and both are 26. So we have two critical paths in the network. One is A, C, F and I and second is B, D, G and I. Next we will talk about next most critical path. Let's take another example. Instead of A being 8, let's say A is 2 and 
instead of e being 5 let's say e becomes 8 in that case our path acfi will be 2 plus 3 5 plus 6 11 plus 9 20 so it will be 20 and our path b e h and i will become 2 plus 8 10 plus 2 12 plus 9 21 so it will become 21 so in that case there will be only one critical path that is with the maximum value among 20 26 and 21 it's 26 so our critical path will be b d g and i and our next most critical path will be of next most maximum value that is 21 so that relates to b e h i so BEHI will be our next most critical path. So what is the significance of finding the next most critical path? Well, it's very important for a project. So our critical path is B, D, G and I. Let's say for some reason, the activity D cannot be completed. There may be many reasons. For example, the person responsible for activity D just left the job or due to some budgeting problem or some machinery problem, we simply can't complete the activity D. So in that case, we have to choose an alternate path in the network which will take the minimum time to complete the project. So in that case, we will take the path BEHI with next most value that is 21. So friend, this was the end of the video. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos in the series. So don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. And please appreciate my hard work by liking the video and sharing the video because knowledge is meant to be shared. I have uploaded videos on statistics, numerical methods, business and financial mathematics, operations research, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, Android app reviews, India travel and tourism, street foods and life hack videos, and a series of videos on Casio FX901 ES and FX802 MS scientific calculators. You must watch my calculator videos to know how to do maths easily during exams. You can get all my videos on my YouTube channel. The link is www.youtube.com front slash sujoin70. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.